Welcome to another week of postcard analysis and this is just a quick recap of last week so um, you know uh, not really too much discussion on these last week so if you've got anything to say please do pick it up and uh, we'll have a look through them. Nice one to see the range taker uh, cap um, skill at arms badge in use on this soldier here. What else do we see? Yeah a few questions about you know, the, 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 were there any records of photographers and stuff in Grantham? Um, Grantham Museum, local museum, may well have some of this stuff, but it's not something that we've come across at all in our studies. Um, you know, notice the you know, one of the comments about how crisp and clean the 1914 pattern equipment was on this one, and also uh, noticed what we picked up in last week's video on the uh, shoulder straps being used with the large packs with the valises. So the fact that they're using the utility straps as shoulder straps uh, so they can drop the packs on and off separate to the equipment a bit easier. Uh, but what I've noticed is they've actually put them under the um, shoulder straps of the of the tunic in the same way that they have the insignia uh, in in the same way they have the web uh, you know, personal equipment. So not really uh, that much easier to, to drop it. Um, what else was that? So, yeah, nothing on the back there. Um, comments about this chap's knees, uh, which are, yeah, quite quite something, actually. So, um, yeah, he's, he's well, I would say he's been injured at some point. Don't know. Not really sure about that one. But, uh, yeah, no wound stripe anyway. Um, what else? Uh, no, nothing, nothing came up on this one, I don't think. Um, yeah, so that was sort of a, a, a relatively slow week. Oh yeah, some comments about the Tamashanta and explaining about how you know Scottish units did seem to wear uh, the you know, some machine gun units in Scottish divisions did seem to wear Tamashantas, um, which was nice to see. And then you know they've got the the maxims in in the front on this one, and that was it. So um, we'll get on to looking at next week's or this week's photos. Uh, word of caution, though, is one of them uh, includes some dead Canadian soldiers. So you know, it, you know just a, just a warning there that uh, you know this it's not all studio photos or nicely clean stage stuff. So this studio shot. Again, backdrop and random chair, um, but machine gun corps infantry shoulder titles, a lanyard, which we do see sometimes, not too often though, 1914 pattern belt and three good contact stripes uh, there. Pretty sure they're good conduct, conduct stripes rather than any form of rank. Um, they all look to be individually sewn on as well. It looks like there is some sort of seam uh, between those, so they've been sewn on individually. Uh, well, we've got you know, normal general service buttons on the service dress tunic, normal um, machine gun called cap badge. I think everything else is pretty much as expected, and we see those pleats again in the in the putties, uh, which certainly take out some of the random shape and the nastiness having uh, worn putties this week incredibly difficult to get used to this one's interesting on the back it's a different uh, postcard manufacturer different photographer britannia's electric portraits limited grantham mansfield nottingham and lincoln so likely to be a clipston or grantham balton park uh, photograph here so uh yeah just quite nice to see and also the fact that it's got yeah french written on the back so clearly intended for the yeah, for the purchaser to take to france and send back now as i said uh this one shows some deceased canadian soldiers they're canadian this is inside a an auto car of the canadian machine gun corps a reminder that war is gruesome and you know as we're seeing current events at the moment pretty grim all round and photos aren't all about studio shots or anything like that um i won't dwell on the individuals uh, in this that you know it's obviously been caught in an ambush i can't quite remember the circumstances that this is but it is a very very well published postcard you know the canadians did release release this quite widely um it as a I think it's a German photographer and it's 1918. Again, I'm not 100% sure, um, but it does show obviously the, the, you know, the Vickers on the auto car there. Um, you know, it seems somewhat crass to, to get into the detail of things, so I won't 
do that too much you can research also cars you can research this photograph a little bit more um, but they were basically mobile machine guns two machine guns in a truck slightly armored truck um, and you know the they were used quite effectively in the latter part of the war as mobile machine gun platforms. Uh, there's nothing on the reverse of this postcard though to give an indication as to its source. Yeah, there is a stuck sort of pencil scribble there, but I think that's more of a stock number for a previous sort of collector or um, or retailer or dealer. Uh, so yeah, nothing to show where this one was actually published. So back to our sort of studio shots. This one is a, a painted backdrop. You can see the fence painted on the, the canvas there, completely different floor. So yeah, it's a complete painted backdrop. Um, the individual is a color sergeant, staff sergeant of the machine gun corps infantry. I think we can just see the eye underneath the, uh, underneath the title there. Cap budge is normal, nothing much, but the 1914 bet and bout and he's wearing his bayonet. So we see this in sort of drill order um, and he has a stick. So, um, you know, not particularly a pace stick or anything like that, more of a cane, uh, not a swagger stick, too sh too long for that. Uh, very well fitted putties, looks like he's in shoes maybe, um, or certainly very slender boots. Uh, yeah, so nothing really standing out on this one, but yeah, just another nice studio shot to show uh, moustaches of the time as well. Uh, Gale Studios Limited seem to be quite a big firm around the UK, lots of different branches, um, maybe franchises, not really sure, uh, but yeah, so you know, not much space to actually write anything on this postcard really, uh, too much advertising from Gale Studios. Now, this is a really interesting photo because you rarely see large units like this. Um, or large unit photos and and how many have we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five thirty six thirty seven uh, in two ranks so what's there seventy four uh, seventy four men plus some NCOs but we've got one two three four five six NCOs a lot on the back and four officers and then the band um, at the back here so yeah we've got four drums that to me seems like company strength um, with four section officers um, so a company in a machine gun battalion uh, all on parade all got bayonets fixed we've got a um, we could probably interestingly we could probably work out bayonets versus pistols and um in pistol cases on some of these because we've got a few that we can see um but not you know it's not everybody by any means equally it's not uh it, it's not everybody else so we've got certainly does it look like we've got pairs so maybe they're the gun number was number ones and twos um and then we've got one two three four five six and then we've got another pistol in case one two um, not sure not sure whether there's any rhyme or reason to it um but it, it's nice to see anyway you know we, we know this is a machine gun unit as you'll see in reverse in a moment um and we've got yeah some let's say the band of drums four small drums large drum some cymbals etc uh in the back there and some buglers by the looks of it so buglers so yeah um bugles and drums of the machine gun corps and in the background we've got a couple of horses being exercised along there there's um i think this is cricket nets uh are they on a wicket um but this could be you know, a wicket there uh some more horses up in the back here so uh likely to be post-war slightly um or certainly towards the end of the war as you can see the detail on the back it's stamped 34th battalion machine gun corps um, and then somebody scribbled mgc on parade which is pretty much obvious um so yeah we know this is the 34th battalion and certainly in line with the other photos that we've got that are stamped the same uh it is just post-war um late 1918 or early 1919. another nice studio shot guy le leaning on his cane um looks like the putties are tied at the base so maybe a mounted member of the machine gun corps nothing to tell us he's machine gun corps cavalry that's the sort of later uniform than we've seen in some of the ones recently there's no pleats on the pockets on this one um and it looks like he's got a good conduct stripe here and possibly a wound stripe there and i'll be honest the way he's leaning on that looks like he's leaning on the cane so i do wonder whether um 
you know, has a wound. There's just some think about the impression that gives me and it gives uh, the way he's standing just gives me an impression he's wounded. Well, it looks like we've got the 1903 pattern belt, but in webbing, um, which we've seen a couple of times now. And he's actually looks like he's tied it the wrong way. He's gone you know, from left to right uh, on this. The loops on this side. Normally we see it around here. So it looks like he's done his belt up the wrong way. Um, what else can we see? Looks like, no, yeah, nothing else jumping out at us on this one, but it is a nice studio shot. And on the back, we've got your Sincerely ER Raffle, 15th of April 1918, and it's taken in Kantara, Egypt. And we've got some numbers that have enabled us to uh, trace him. So Edward Raffle enlisted as number 1922 in the, this says West Kent Yeomanry, but um, could be East Kent Yeomanry. Uh, went to Gallipoli on the 17th of October 1915 and then to Egypt. He served in the Yeomanry Division and transferred to the Machine Gun Corps on the 2nd of October 1917, becoming 120326. He was in number 209 company uh, and later the 74th Battalion, which were the divisional uh, were the Machine Gun Battalion for the Yeomanry Div, 74th Div. Um, and then he was sent to the Western Front. His name is in the War Office Casualty List as Wounded, uh, which links in with that wound stripe, uh, on the 15th of January 1918. And yeah, so we can see this postcard is just three months after that. And he was from Leighton Stone as well. Uh, it looks like we've got a section here. Um, yeah, it could be just over a section. Uh, well, it's a Hutsworth, isn't it? Hut 13, Machine Gun Corps. So we also, we've seen this in another postcard or this one to come, can't quite remember. Um, and we've got the photographer there, Shipley in Yorkshire. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not sure. It could be Strensel, um, maybe. Um, but it equally could be one of the um, Lincoln area camps. North. And what have we got? We've got the Vickers in the front here, front and centre. Uh, tripod set up wrongly yeah this should be level not on the angle like that um and then we've got mark one tangent sight slide but with a single arch top cover no lightning on the side there and we've got the strap for the auxiliary tripod mark one muzzle cone um no uh, elevate no, no direction dial and no elevating wheel fitted uh so quite a basic gun but we have got ammunition in the bout presumably that is drill ammunition, can't tell from this photo. And it looks like we've got a number three belt box there as well. You can just see the um, tripod data plate, the serial number plate poking out from underneath that leather strap there. We've got MGC shoulder titles on the individuals. Um, nothing, and we've still got the wire in the service dress cap. We've got a couple of, or a wound stripe at least on this chap here. Um, we've got anything else, quite a tall chap there. Um, which is quite, you know, certainly compared to the chap next to him. A few moustaches on show. Uh, we've got a Lance Corporal, maybe is he the only rank we can see? Um, he could well be actually, so maybe he's the Hut Lance Corporal. And we've got 1914 bat and bouts on many of them. Um, nothing, nothing particularly. Jaunty angle on a couple of the hats and um good conduct good conduct stripe on that chap there and a nice wristwatch on show there as well so we've got a bit of service amongst these men um but i would say largely most well yeah most of them don't seem to have any service uh or anything else to show for their service anyway so we've just got the one lot one good conduct stripe and um one wound stripe can't see anything else there um really of note uh, the huts are as we expect to see them you know this, this sort of wooden cladding um on the big doorways and uh yeah good windows on those as well a really nice lot of text on the back of this postcard obviously very well used so not really um sadly our mgc 2010 2 watermark has got in there a little bit but it just says uh parcel received thanks for the contents but eggs and biscuits squashed. Uh, so, yeah, how frustrating. Um, something, something. Also, a letter with 107 notes and stamps. Many thanks for them. Very glad Mrs. James is better. Oh, good for Mrs. James. And I hope she will soon be well again. So, Tiny Toll Hilda. Mm. No, don't know. Uh, is doing her dressing gown 
hope she'll get it finished by winter next so maybe somebody's knitting there when i hope all the wars will be over and us all together again <laughs> okay um i shall be glad to learn how she gets on with the vegetable garden why not spuds um or bananas bananas in a vegetable garden crazy it is clipston camp so not strensel um but yeah so nice to see um, sorry if my scrawl has been unintelligible. Um, well, we've managed to work out, or I've managed to work out a fair bit of it. Uh, if anybody else can sort of, if I've missed anything that got it wrong, then do let me know. Love, Harry. However, we can't really um, uh, work out who he is from this. You know, no records of who was ever in Hut 13. Um, no records of it where even Hut 13 was. But Hut 13 clips in camp. If we ever find a list, we'll look for Harry on there or Henry. Uh, just going to bed, post this in the morning. Um, yeah, so quite a nice lot of detail on the back there. Uh, you know, and, and, you know, some of the sentiment about the war being over and stuff is uh, you know, something that we, you know, we know existed. It's just nice to see that in writing. So last postcard of the week and we can see a chap with quite a bit of service actually. So we've got some overseas service stripes, service chevrons on his right forearm, corporal. He is wearing a middle medal ribbon there. Um, could be a 14, 15 star. Um, maybe, I'm not really sure. You know, it's not sure. It could be a meritorious service medal. Um, got two wound stripes, so he obviously has done some meritorious service. Uh, 1903 pattern bout, and you can just see the MDC soldier title on there. Very smartly attired. Um, nice pleats on the pockets and um, darts up to the collar, which a uniform specialist will be able to tell me exactly what pattern of service dress this is. Uh, I can't. Machine gun course service cap. Um, cap badge on the service cap there, which is a nice soft cap. Great great creases in the trousers um let's say very smart nice cane there as well um uh, no putties or anything cigarette in hand i reckon this chap's out on a night in the town um yeah look it look it certainly looks very smart and uh and yeah you know all polished and uh, ready to go sadly we've no idea who he is though nothing on the back to tell us a um, little bit of faded right in bottom left as a stamp of some sort, but I can't work out what that is. Um, possibly an overseas postcard. I'm not really 100% sure now. Uh, it's K Limited. We have seen that on the stuff that is Mesopotamia or India um, related. But yes, yeah, so not much to go on though, sadly. Uh, and that was all the postcards this week. So uh, make sure you're supporting us as much as you can on patreon.com forward slash Vickers MG or donate at paypal uh, paypal.me forward slash vickers mg uh, just go to the website follow us on social media and make sure you're available on the 16th of july to come to the national army museum to see these postcards on display as well as much more of the collection and stay tuned for more information on what we'll be doing for the 100th anniversary of the disbandment of the machine gun corps as we go through the year Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Please support us on Patreon if you're able to and let us know of anything you'd like to see in the future. I look forward to hearing from you.